Okay, hi, Betsy and Sharon. Um, I'm here and it's a Wednesday afternoon um, and I figured I would do some work on the piece that we were going to work on yesterday, but we all agreed to just take a break because of uh, just overload. Um, you might, I figured I'd, I'd video this so you can kind of see what I was doing as I was doing it. I said, whoa, this is a good idea to show these guys um, the chances that you have to sometimes take um, to uh, bring a piece into submission to your hand. I think for, for the most part, these pieces that we started kind of took over and, and got away from us. And uh, I'm not having that. <laughs> so... Um, I'm shaving it down with uh, this tool and a smaller one. And I have just been taking um, major, I mean, you can see from when we started, um, I'm taking major chunks out um, and just slenderizing it. I don't know if you can see that. See how she's getting slimmer and slimmer. Her rear end is half the size as what it was. And the way to do this effectively is to do it and turn at the same time. As the Lazy Susan is turning, you can get an idea proportion-wise how much to take off. See, I've moved away from here. And um, I think, I don't think you can see what I'm doing, can you? Let me see if I can move this. Move this back so there. That's better. Now, take a look at all that I've. Uh, that's a lot. That's her head, but I've taken off this much clay so far. So don't be. We're having some production problems. Uh, don't be afraid to. take off a lot. You might say to yourself, oh, that's too much, but no, it's not. Just keep shaving and shave off in small sections if you're, if you're overwhelmed by how much has to come out. You see, you don't have to take a whole lot off, but just keep going down until you, you take pounds off of it. You're literally taking pounds off of it. I think I started off with a 185-pound lady, and now she's about down to 150. <laughs> Okay, now this side is significantly slimmer. Let's turn it around. Now look at all this I have to deal with. See how much bigger she is? So I'm going to take her down. I'm going to start with right here, which is way much, way more uh, puffy. And just go in the shape of her body and take off sections. Keep turning it, turning it, turning it, slimmer waist down. So she gets a slimmer waist. See, I took that much waist off. I'm going to take this off, too. Watch. Take that waist down. Go around in a circle so you can kind of watch what's going on. And she's significantly slimmer. And in doing that, you see now she's got way too much hanging. So let's take that off. Okay? I'll use a larger piece. But you don't have to scrape that hard. You want to take a little bit at a time. Okay? Two. That's all. Shape it down to the shape of her body. Go around the shape of her body. Take that hip off. See? Take another slice of hip off. Take another slice of hip off. And look at all, look how much weight she lost. Okay? Move all that excess clay out. And continue to do the same thing. Like her thigh's too thick, so I'm going to bring that thigh down. Tame it somewhat. Yeah? Tame that thigh so it's just not so overwhelming. Now let's see. That's better. See what I'm doing? Here. That's a, like a, a step almost. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. This is kind of like reconstructive surgery. 
It doesn't have to be artistically done. You just whack it off clay as it stands now. Now, see right here and here, it looks like her leg is almost going out into the shape of a triangle. You want to straighten that leg out because she, by nature, the thickest part of the thigh is here and then it slims down. So I got to take some of this off at the bottom, okay? Yeah, so I'm going to do that. So that the leg is in proportion to the top of the thigh. Because it's supposed to get slimmer as it goes down before it meets the knee. There we go. See? Same with over here. Get all that out. Just take a chunk out. And in doing that, you're creating a gap which now is starting to get a little more sculptural. It's not, you're not looking just like at a mass of clay that happens to have, uh, it reads like a woman's body, but it's, it really is a mass of clay. It needs to be tamed. See? Uh. Is that better? See how that's coming out better? Now you're starting to see some shape. Her backside on this side is still too large, so I'm going to shape that down. But now her legs are starting to take on. Get this, I'm going to get rid of this, all of that. Watch. There we go. There we go. Now you'll see, look at all the clay I've taken off of her. But the truth is, I don't know what I've done with my piece here. The truth is, I haven't really lost any of the um, position of the woman. The shape of the woman is still in place. She's just slimmer. She's just slimmer. So I'll continue to do that, not caring that she's got stripes and all kinds of stuff. See, I'm taking off more rear end here. Just yank, yap it off. Get up under there, take that off. And I'll come back later on to shape it. But right now, she's much more, she's much easier to handle um, in terms of shape. Now, because I took so much off at the bottom, her shoulders are a little wide. So, scale that down too. She don't want to stand up quite right because I... All right, we got too much shoulder here. Take it away. Okay, take that big hickey off, which was her shoulder blade, and it was proportionally right for the big woman, but now we got to recreate a smaller top. So just shave it off, and you can, you can put later on spray and um, scratch and put a little bone there, you know, when you score it, and put a softer piece of clay on there and reshape. But for now, this is too, her, her arm is almost as wide as her thigh, so that's gotta come down. All that has to come out, okay? Look at that, see? See? See that? That makes more sense. Take it off. And then you're saying you're so full. I don't wanna take this off because that's a nice scapula, that's that bone, take it off and put it back on if you have to. But the important thing is to get it to scale to the bottom half of her body. Okay?
Much better. Anyway. Yeah, she's getting skinnier. Okay. Well, it's been about 10 minutes I've been working on this with you, um, video, so, taping it. I just want to, I felt bad. I want to give you guys a little, like if you have a part of a day when you feel like sculpting, but you're feeling to yourself, well, I, I can't plug in now, I can't call Nancy, I don't know what she's doing. Um, but I really wish I knew what the next steps were. This is the next steps for me, anyhow. And um, you can decide whether you want to do that or not. Now she's far more manageable, okay? Plus, you buy yourself a whole lot of real estate back in clay. Put all this leftover clay into a bag, uh, wet it down or spritz it down thoroughly until it gets malleable and mash it into um, a nice chunk of clay because we still have the head to make, we've got arms to make, and it doesn't look like anytime soon this uh, coronavirus thing is gonna lift. So getting clay um, to you or you're getting to me to get clay is gonna be a challenge. So I think the best thing to do is scale this down. Now she's a nice size and you can see more sculpture as opposed to um, just a big bulk of clay that has a rear end on and boots, okay? It gets longer, it gets shapelier, okay? And um, with Bets, Betsy, your piece, because she's so arched back, you can really take a lot of all that um, back in here out and really accent all this arch that goes backward but make sure that you take some shoulders out too and you slim down the arms. You can see that this arm can even come off more. That's about right for the body of a woman. All this is gonna come out, it's too thick, and it'll give her room for a longer neck, okay? Um, Sharon, I think your piece is more like mine where she's moving, one leg is moving forward, one leg is moving backward. Um, get them so if you can, uh, so that they separate and you see that there's motion going on, go in the shape or the direction of the twist of the body and that'll help you some. And um, just take some, take some chances on your own. The worst case scenario is that um, you shave it down to nothing and you'll just <laughs> Um, but you'll have plenty of clay to start with, and we'll get started then, okay? I wish you guys all the safest health and um, take all the precautions that you can possibly take before going out. This is no joke. Uh, I love you too much to lose you, all right? And hopefully we'll meet again on Tuesday next week, okay? Love you guys. Bye.